Championship Sunday. Will Howells and Patrick Kafka taking on Manthau and Lang. This is their second tournament as a team took a bronze back in Miami. After we got the first one, I kind of felt like we would. So it was just a confidence. You know, I've known Max for six months now, and uh, you know we train twice a week. He drives down from Tacoma down to Portland. Uh, we have great system of players in Portland, and Travis Roods leading us. Um, we can win in a variety of ways, and uh, Max is positive energy. Uh, he's obviously a proud favorite. Just an honor to share the court with him. Well, guys, you had a purple contingent here cheering you on. They have been loud. Let's let them see you celebrate. Max and Eric Lang, your men's gold medalist. Max Manthau, 32 years old, from Tacoma, Washington. He and partner Eric Lang took a gold in Newport back in July. That was their first men's gold doubles together. They're coming off of an appearance in Dallas where they also took home the gold. Yeah, Max Manthau, Eric Lang looking really good this year. This partnership has started from the beginning and is gelling more and more every week. They are tough to beat. They like to play fast. They crash off of each other's third shot drives. Love that shake and bake action. But again, if you get them in the slow game too, they'll play that and then flip the script on you. On the other side of the net, Spencer Lanier, part of that APP Next Gen, also from the Pacific Northwest. So we've got three Pacific Northwest players, but he and his partner, Zach Taylor, first tournament together, they make it to the gold medal match. Yeah, and Lanier and Taylor did some interesting things throughout the draw. They put Lanier on the left, changed things up, got them through one, and then they brought Taylor back and put him on the left. So they're, they're changing things. The, the pace of play, Lanier and Taylor is a little bit different than Lang and Manthal though. Lane, Lanier and Taylor look to set up the point first and then try to impose the power. They're going to have to hold on tight in this one and really do something with the power of Lang and, and Manthal. Lanier, 21 years old. In that matchup of contrasting styles, Chad, who would you give the edge to? Uh, I think if you put Lanier on the left, but I know he's going to be serving first, so he's going to end up on the right. But we, we may see the, the switch. I'm going to give the slight edge to Lang and Mantel. I think you know, there's just going to be a little bit too much power, especially if Lang and, and Taylor can't do something with the fourth and, and get that ball down. Elongated points, I'll go with Lanier, Lanier mm -hmm. and, and Taylor, though, but I don't think we're going to get to too many long points. Well, let's also not discredit the defense of Zach Taylor. He could oh, scramble with the best of them. As we are underway here in our men's doubles gold medal match, Lang and Manthel in the purple, Lanier and Taylor as Lanier gets the first ball off the backhand in the gray. When we talked about three of these guys on court very familiar with each other Lanier and then Manthal and Lang they all practice together in the Pacific Northwest Manthal pulls it up into the armpit for a side out Lanier upset with himself because he didn't open up to the <laughs> forehand well I would have said just get out of the way but <laughs> true <laughs> that one's a little bit more difficult Good spot from Lang to get on the board. Yeah, that's Lang on that front foot. A front foot backhand. 
Yeah. You, he's going <laughs> to sit more in that backhand and generate more power than most people do with their forehand. Oh, oh what? <laughs> That's how? What? How did he stay out that of is the a kitchen? Forehand Ernie. overhead, Ernie. What just happened? That's incredible. <laughs> he almost hit it. Like he hits it completely uh, diagonally. Oh my goodness! No, that's lateral with the net. Oh, we didn't see a replay though. I wanted to see a replay of that one. I mean that from like three different angles. Oh, catches Lanier extended. Yeah, a little in between right there. Whether we wanted to play it, wanted Taylor to play it, or let it go. Lanier able to get on top of that. I'm I'm still like <laughs> hanging on to that. Yeah, Ernie, because I don't I don't know how he hit a forehand and not be over the net when he hit it like lateral with the with the net. Right. Another point off of the big serve. It's a early three point advantage for the top seeds. Crazy. Well, Lanier and Taylor took down some solid teams on their way. You go back to the quarterfinal to Hart and Sobek. They took down in three. Dispatch Nunnery and Blazkowicz in the semifinal. Oh, man, thought just a little too hesitant on that. Well, and, and that's why I give the advantage to Lanier and Taylor in the slower game. They're they're a little bit more controlled. It's it's something that kind of just looks and feels uncomfortable for Mantha and Lane. Medium speed roll ball, but just long. Lanier stepping in for the forehand winner. Well, it's good footwork there from Lanier. As he does step in, he doesn't get flat-footed, slides over, takes that, gets big in the middle. Oh, pulls the backhand just wide. Second serve on the way. Soft game goes, yeah. It's not typical that you see that from Lanier in the middle. No, a little bit of hesitation there. I don't know if, if Lanier thought he should have sped that up, but that's typically a ball that he's going to move around. Taylor does a nice job fending off those shots for Manthau. But that's a good setup there from Taylor. He starts the exchange, Lanier comes over straight away, puts the pressure on, and then Taylor is in a position to counter again. Manthau oh. steps across and draws the error. Manthau getting big in the middle there. Watch him jump to the middle off the drive. That's a great job from Max Manthau. Miss third, side out. Still a two-point lead for the top seeds. Oh. And Taylor just get caught a little in between. Well, it's a good aggressive dink for Mantha. He rolls this at the foot of Taylor, and Taylor really not expecting that kind of pace on that dink. Uh, caught Lang still in transition. Yeah, and Lindia didn't try to overhit that one either. He just put it to the spot, knew that Lang was going to be a little late getting that. <laughs> that oh, one just swatted down. It needed, needed to be a, a, a little bit more uh, 
anywhere else? <laughs> no, it was it was just a, a, a little bit lackadaisical. There, there little, needed to be a little bit more emphasis and, and pressure on that one. And more. he kind of like just came forward and was like, eh. Definitely more emphasis. <laughs> couple of great shovels man, from Lanier, but too much. The big man letting the little man hit the overheads. Why not? Manthal jumping up, smashing some balls down. Let's create a little chaos. I mean, he doesn't lack power, that's for sure. No, no. definitely not. And there he catches Taylor, still in transition, feet moving. Another point. It's a three-point lead for Langen Manthal. That Stood one. up through the second <laughs> one. Yeah, First like, drive was great. Stood up through the second. Little off balance. Still second serve. Oh, Lang missing the third side out. That's all right. There, I mean, that's that's that play style. You're gonna you're gonna make some mistakes when you're playing aggressive. Taylor reaching in but pushes it long. Yeah, it just got flat. You see Taylor change and have that the top of the hand down right there in the shadow swing. When he hit it, the back of the hand was completely behind the ball, so it came out flat. Ooh. What What is going on? <laughs> Organized chaos. Oh, oh, oh. You know, easiest ball. What that reminded me of right there. I'm not sure it was organized. Is, it's, it's the street game with the three cups and the ball underneath, and it's like follow <laughs> the cups and yeah, find yeah. where the ball was. That was like find the body that's hitting the ball right now right. because it was all no over idea. the place on the court. Rushing through another drive is Manthau. Second serve coming. Well, good job by Taylor. He recognizes that Manthau's coming up, so he finds his feet with an off pace. He doesn't try and speed that up. If he tries to speed that up, Manthau's all over it. Oh, beautiful forehand roll there from Manthau. But Manthau was setting it up on the previous two balls. You see the footwork where he's getting around it and then just takes the opportunity for that quick flick. Nice Good spot. placement there from Taylor. Yeah, had Lang trying to get through transition. Gets off-footed. Good spot. Taylor doesn't have the extensive tennis background as some of the other players on court. He picked up pickleball during COVID, like a lot of people, when he moved back from L.A. where he was working in show business. Oh, oh. body bag from Lang. Lanier oh. trying to get out of the way. Might have been better off going to the right than the left. <laughs> yeah, his momentum was just taking him that way. It's stop, a, drop, and roll. That's a big boy to stop. <laughs> Great reach in from Lanier. He wins the firefight. Huge battle right there. Great job. There it was right there, Chad, that the, little the, backhand the chicken wing. But then the little frack finish. Nice step over there from Lanier to continue the pressure. And communication from Taylor. 
Time out, Lang and Manthou. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the gold medal match at the Al APP Newport Beach Open. How have you liked how Lanier and Taylor have responded here over the last three or four points? Well, they've actually picked up the pace in their own game as well. Taylor is, is taking the opportunity to speed a couple of balls up. And as soon as that speed up comes, Lanier steps over and puts the pressure on even more. So it's been you know, good communication on and off the ball between Lanier and Taylor, but we we talk about it all the time, Dom. If, Dom, if you you're playing against a a team that does play fast pace and does put a lot of pressure on, a lot of the time they don't like that pace coming back or being initiated at them first. You talked about contrasting styles. This is also an exercise in familiarity. You have Manthau and Lang on one side who train together, they hit together, they know each other very well. Taylor and Lanier, this is a first-time partnership. Neither one had partners coming in to Newport Beach. Taylor reached out to Lanier on Instagram, said, hey, do you want to play? This is the result. Hit me up on IG. You want to play? <laughs> Perfect. Let's do it. End up on Championship Sunday. That's not a bad Pretty request. Pretty nice. Then. Keep those DMs open. You never know what's going to happen. Nice roll there from Manthau to earn the side out. Taylor was on it. He didn't get fooled. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a tough one there where you're hitting an overhead running back full speed. Also trying to clear Eric Lang. I'm not sure why Lang didn't get up and take that one. He's got the wingspan, got the height. Well, probably all he needed was a drop step. We'll finish that with the backhand. Oh, so close, fellas. We are almost there. Oh, Three wow. The wickets backhand stab volley winner. Game point. That is the reach and power of Eric Lang summed up in one shot. <laughs> I mean, there probably is no other shot that encapsulates the play of Eric Lang other than that. No, I, just the cover right there, right? His length uses it to his advantage and just comes over and stabs that through the middle. Lang and Manthau within one point of capturing game one here in our men's doubles gold medal match in Newport Beach. The defending champions in Newport looking to make it back to back after picking up a gold medal at the last tour stop in Dallas. Being challenged by Lanier and Taylor and Lanier and Taylor very comfortable with also going three. They've had to do it multiple times throughout the bracket. They've challenged other teams. I would venture to say one of their biggest strengths is making adjustments game to game. Yeah, 100%. They can do that because they're very familiar with each other. And so, again, making those adjustments, you know, for Lang and Manthau, figuring things out mid-game, in-game is something that they do very well. Game point. Nice backhand push there from Taylor to get back on serve. I apologize, Dorian. I thought you were talking <laughs> okay. the other way. It's okay. <laughs> familiarity. <laughs> nope. Because I'm talking about familiarity. That's, I wasn't even talking about that either. Lang. Nope. I see who listens yeah. to one another here in this booth. Ooh, a little miss hit from Lang. Did you say something? Nope. Okay. All Just right. Just checking. Okay. I got a memory like a goldfish. What? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Manthout getting on top and putting it away. Good reset in the middle of that point there from Taylor, but again, gets the first one. But then Manthout is just sitting dead red, and he just speeds up again. Oh, Lanier getting a little loose with the wrist in the middle side out. It'll bring up game point number two. Oh, nice Oh, angle. wow. Perfectly placed from Taylor. That was very close. Dodge it in the stands. Couldn't have gotten any closer to the line. It's still game point from or for Manthau and Lang. We got the same ball back. Big serve, oh, wow. sails just long. So three game points wasted by the top seeds. Oh. Beautiful oh. roll through the middle. He's relentless. <laughs> like, it's just, he's going to play his game. No one's going to change him. Would you want them to? No. Oh, Taylor stepping across, pushes it wide. And so Lang and Manthau will have another chance to put game one in the books. This is game point number four. Nope. Those game points starting to pile up. All right, this is where you go. Rip, rip, rip. rip. Nope. Got to the backhand. Oh. Oh, Another oh. missed overhead. Another game point saved. Soft game going toward Lanier and Taylor. Timeout taken here by Lanier and Taylor. They have been able to fend off five well, game points. Fellas, how have they done it? I tell you what, if you allow them to hang around any longer, Lanier and Taylor are going to flip this. I mean, they've already flipped the pace of the game, yes. right? They've slowed everything down. They've turned most of these points into 50-50 points at the kitchen. So they're already getting sucked in, that being Manthau and Lang, to the style of Taylor and Lanier. Manthau not able to create the chaos that he likes, inject that pace. Well, they've been returning to his backhand as well. So it haven't, hasn't given Manthau the opportunity to really be aggressive on that third shot. Yeah, not many attacks from the backhand side of Max Manthau. I like to see Linnea get big in the middle here in this one. I was going to ask you, where's Lang in all of this? We're talking about Manthau, and he likes to create. It feels like Lang has gone by the wayside a little bit here over these last but handful of points. the strength of Lang, too, though, is the counter. Very and Lanier and Taylor have been very smart not to test the hands of Eric Lang. Goes back to the contrasting styles. Oh. Good spot from Manthau. Crosses up Lanier. Taylor mad at himself that he doesn't get that ball down on the counter. Just long. Pretty sure Lanier said whoa in the middle of that point. <laughs> Too much sauce on the forehand, well, and just like that, it's a one-point game. That had nothing to do with keeping the ball in. That was, body Max, Man the that was Max Manthal going for the body of Spencer Lanier. Yeah, the added spin. 
Didn't do anything off of Taylor's paddle right then. Game point number six. Oh, good get. Oh. oh. <laughs> Ball was going to hit the gray monster yes, back there. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. But instead, it's a miss hit. Game point number seven. Uh, just just the long, scratchy moments late for the top seeds, but game one is done and dusted. They are halfway to defending their gold medal here in Newport. Spencer Lanier and Zach Taylor find themselves trailing a game after the top seed of Manthau and Lang took game one 11-9. Chad, you were saying before we came back that you want to see them force the issue a little bit more coming out in game two. How do they do that? Why? Well, yeah, I think they need to come out and, and not necessarily be more aggressive, but I think they need to do a little bit more with their dinks, put a little bit more pressure on that way. If a ball gets up, then yes, go ahead and be aggressive. You already know that Lang and Manthau are going to be aggressive and they're trying to create a lot of stuff that isn't there. So if Lanier and, and Taylor can kind of extend these points, move the ball around, work on the impatience of Max Manthau and, and, and Eric Lang and get them to speed something up from down up. That's going to be a, a little bit uh, a little bit better strategy potentially. We saw, we saw Lanier and Taylor be able to make Manthau and Lang uncomfortable in the late stages. There's Manthau creating chaos. Well, I mean, it's to his backhand. He's sliding to the left. He hits the cut, immediately pops back to the middle. You think there's a space, and then he closes it off so quick. Ooh. It's Again, Manthal uh, Man going right at the body. Four balls ago, that should have been the speed up from Lenny. It was above the net. He chose to bump it back out wide, and it gave Lang and Manthal the opportunity to be aggressive. That. Reach in. Mm -hmm. Use your height. <laughs> well, you got two guys on the court that you could say that about. Zero, two, one. Tip of the paddle, Ernie, to stay out of the kitchen? Yeah, I don't know how he didn't step on the side post here. Listen, that's good work, footwork that's from the big fella. Great footwork. Counter started by Taylor. He ends up winning it. <laughs> He's dancing in the booth here, don't Yeah, a little bit because, I mean, Mantov slides to the right, plays the forehand, slides to the left. Crisscross. Applesauce. No, you're supposed to say everyone no, no. clap your hands. I know. I didn't want to <laughs> give you that. I didn't want to give you the benefit of the doubt. Everybody. Why? Clap you're your why we can't have nice things. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, he hit an apple. <laughs> hands were so good across the board. Right there. Taylor tried to call him off, too. Yep. Taylor had a good view of it. Ball's definitely going to go wide, but, again, you're in that. It's so hard to get out of it. Yep. Don't Mr. compound Turn. it, though, with the missed return. A pair of missed returns, and the lead is three. Miss serve. Lang tried to rush that serve right there. It wasn't his standard serve. Four, one, two. Oh, and miscommunication now in the middle. 
Well, two things you typically don't momentary, see from Manthou and Lang. Momentary lapse in concentration. Lanier and Taylor need to find a way to capitalize. Great. Elevated ball from Taylor. Great counter right there from Taylor. Goes right at the chest of Manthau. Right there. Manthau gets jammed up just enough. Miss third, second serve coming. Two for two. Side out. Can't make the pickup, quick side out. Yeah, Manthau trouble. gets all over it. Well, trouble right there, and that's typically what we see from Lang and Manthau. Lang is going to say go. Manthau is coming up, crashing hard, and Lang will just drive it in. Ooh. Another miss. For, another miss. Uh, what do you see from Lang's serves the last two times? Just lost rhythm a little bit. One-two combination on the overhead. You don't see. The funny thing is that Lob goes up. Max goes back. Lang holds the kitchen line. Timeout on the court as Lang and Manthau have run out to a four-point lead. Manthau and Lang up a game and halfway to capturing a gold medal. Up 6-2, coming out of the timeout. Oh. <laughs> what a spot. Using this 6-5 frame to just reach <laughs> in and go, yep, little wrist flick, cross court, winner. Thank you very much. Deep on the return, and the lead is starting to add up. It's a six-point advantage. It's getting away quick right now. No. Oh. One-way traffic here on championship court. It's 9-2. Yes. Lineage just looked with at his paddle. paddle. He was like, why? Why? Did he work? Why, didn't, why didn't you hit it? You should have hit it. 9-2. Off the edge guard, championship point. Special in here. <laughs> Eric's laughing, going, he's like, that's, I, that's real smart. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. You know how big he is, he? <laughs> he literally turned around and said, yeah, that's real smart of me. Yeah. So able to save off championship point for now. Work to do. Taylor and Lanier trail by eight. Just driving Taylor back with that forehand. Yeah, and good spots there again from Manthau. Taylor's sitting on the backhand, and then second ball, Manthau goes outside the right leg. Got to put a few together here. Do Lanier and Taylor. Hate saying you want to score in bunches, but you can't score one at a time and then give a side out. Oh. Ooh, through the wickets, overhead winner from Taylor. That was trouble once as soon as it went up. <laughs> <laughs> Lang just walks back, says he likes lobs too. <laughs> Four, ten, two. No, come on. Ooh. 
Oh, Spencer. Here. Spencer barking a little bit. I like it. We'll fight here, forcing a timeout here from Langamantha. They've cut the deficit in half. It's now down to five. All of a sudden, these things start to pile up. We saw it a little bit in game number one. They allowed him to stay. Manthau and Lang able to finally close it out. But when you allow teams to hang around, as we know, things tend to happen. Yeah, it just might be. Might be too little might, too late. I was late. just going to. Wow. Dorian. You finishing you each are, other's sandwiches you are. again. That is you great. Build a snowman? <laughs> we're getting close. <laughs> we're, get, we're getting way too close this year. But I like it. And you talk about closeness. You know, we're looking around. Full packed house in here right now watching this last match. And I'm looking up in the stands. We got, you know, Nicole Hobson and Melissa McCurley watching. We have about a dozen pros up here. They don't need to be here right now. Everything's over after this match. And they're all here watching this match. They're watching good pickleball. Ken Herman's roving around around here. It's just nice to see. It really is. It's a packed house here at the Tennis and Pickleball Club, Newport Beach. 5-10-2. Nice spot there from Lanier using these height and reach advantage. Elevates it up into Manthau's chest. Four-point run. Wow. Make it a five-point run. What were you saying? Too that, little, too late? What? Maybe not. That was a dirty drop there from Lanier. It had a lot of dip and bite on it. Lang finally able to get on top of one. Sign out. Championship point number two. Inside the baseline. Mantha had to get his face out of the way of that one. That landed right in front of us. It couldn't have been any closer. Wow, great counter there from Lanier. He could have easily overhit that. Championship point number three. Oh! oh. Fights <laughs> off the line drive for the finish <laughs> as Manthau and Lang reign supreme. They defend their gold here in Newport Beach. We will talk to the top seed when we come back. Game point and match point. For Eric Lang and Max Manthau, Chad. Well, and watch how fast this is from Max <laughs> Manthau. Taylor thinks he hits the perfect spot, and Manthau is like, nope, shoot fly. Win it down the line. Lang and Manthau take their second gold here in as many tournaments in Newport Beach, and Dorian Craft is courtside with our winners. Thanks, guys. Max, Eric, congratulations on your gold medal. You guys were just talking about that last point. Max, what was going through your mind as you were seeing that drive from Zach come across? Uh, wow. Well, I, I anticipated it well. I thought he was going to crush it at me cross court. And, uh, you know, thanks to my training with uh, Coach Travis Rood, who's on the sideline over here. Um, he's been helping me uh, with, with a shot where I'm really in front of my body and trying to take that early. And, I don't know. I, honestly, I kind of blacked out, and it happened so fast. I don't. I mean, but it came out. So, thank you, Travis. That's all that matters, yeah. right? I mean, Eric, you guys won your first men's gold doubles in doubles here in July. What is it about Newport Beach that you guys like so much? I mean, we're close to the beach. We have incredible fan support. Um, you know, it's side of our first title. So, uh, you know, we have great chemistry as a team. Uh, a lot of supporters, uh, and especially a special lucky pine cone right here, which smells like the holidays. So, this is my uh, lucky charm here in Newport, and, and it worked today. Yeah. Well, so now we got the lucky purple, the lucky pine cone, yeah. guys. You just have all the luck going your way. Yeah. One more thing. Uh, 
sending a lot of love out to everyone who works for the APP. Uh, I, I love this event. It's our second time, and I think they're two of my best memories in pickleball. Um, yeah, shout out to everyone involved. Kenny, uh, Jenny, uh, Kenny Jr., Noah, uh, Don, all of them, Dana. Thank you all. Well, thank you for putting on such a good show today. Max, Eric, congratulations. Your men's doubles gold medalist here in Newport Beach. Well, they are gold here, Chad. How do you not like Max Mantow? Not saying anything that Eric Lang is not a nice guy, too. But, I mean, these guys, they're yeah. easy to watch. They're fun to watch. And they're good. Ab absolutely. And they and they come out and they have a lot of fun. And you see there, you know, with Max and, and how appreciative he is of the APP and the family that we have here. So, looking forward for more action here in Newport Beach, but we'll be back right after this.